and welcome back. So today is going to be our first full day here in Dahlia. But we're going to be giving our first impressions on the resort. So the first thing we're going to do today is do something we should do at the start of a holiday, which is go to a Turkish hammam. Have a Turkish hammam. Hammam. Mm. Your mum has hammam. <laughs> so we're just going to walk along now. It only takes about 10 minutes from where we're staying, which is the, the Villa Dolone. So we're going to walk down there, it's towards town. We had a little look around last night, but it was just got here dead late, so we just went for a few drinks and a bit of food. So I haven't really seen the town yet, we don't really know like the layout of it. But we're going to go for a Turkish bath and then we'll be looking around the town, we'll be showing you around the town, so let's go. Yeah! Dalian is set on the southwest coast of Turkey. It's about 25 kilometers from the main airport, which is Dalaman in the Muglat region. So Dalian is a small town. It's not really catered to mass tourism yet, but it's kind of building up a bit. But it's one of the places we'd never really heard of until I think it was last year. It was really just yeah, yeah. Main resort is Marmaris, Pisirinu, Olu Denise. So it's not quite as loud and brash as those resorts. This is about 80 kilometers away from Marmaris. This is only about a 25 minute, half hour drive from the airport, so it's quite good. A lot of the other resorts here in Turkey do take quite a lot of time to get there. But this is just perfect for getting to the airport and back in, in minimal time. Dalian is located on a channel connecting Lake Koysages. I've said that right. And this is in the Mediterranean region. And the town is in the municipality in the district of Otaka. Although this isn't really a beach resort, there is a beach about 20 minutes, half an hour away called Itzuzu Beach. And it's quite famous for the Kareta Kareta turtles, which you also see in Zandi. So apparently you can see quite a lot of them around here. This used to just be like a little fishing village, which you can still see on the river. There's a lot of boat trips go from here. There's a lot of lakes and it's also famous for its mud baths. One thing about where we're staying, Villa Dolonay. It's only about a 10 minute walk into town. It's really, really quiet. And we walked down here last night and even this morning, you can tell it's just really quiet, which is good. And it's not too far to walk. It's just a nice distance. And it's really, really quiet last night and nights. Like, just got back and you just couldn't hear a thing. We're kind of north of Dalian, the main town. And around this area, it's really, like I said, really quiet, but there's a lot of accommodation here. There seems to be like quite a lot of villas. This is where we were last night. There's a little place down here called Rye Box, which was really good. We had a burger down there last night and it was fantastic. So I highly recommend it if uh, you get here and you want something to eat later on. Mm -hmm. 
this is, I think it's called Peloid. Uh, this is the hammam we're going to go in because we've read good things about this one. So this is Jackie's first time in a Turkish bath. <laughs> so we'll see. We probably can't fill him in there, I wouldn't have thought. We'll go in. I think it usually takes, it says something like an hour to two hours. It probably depends how many people are there. I've been to one before and there was quite a few people there. I think I was probably in about an hour last time. But we're going to go in and we'll let you know what our experience was like when we come out. Let's go in. Okay, so we've gone for the classic package two, which is £30 each, which is... You get a face mask yeah. as well, so yeah. it's quite a few things included, so I'll let you know how this goes. Okay, that was the Turkish bath. Obviously we didn't really film anything in there because it just feels a bit not very private, I suppose. It feels a bit impersonal, if you like. But it was really good. We've been in there probably about an hour and 15, an yeah, hour and a half. Yeah. Well, you go in, there's like scrub all your skin. They get you like a foam massage and then they take you through and you put on like a, a mud face mask. <laughs> face mask, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then they took me through and got like a full back massage, like basically from head to toe. It was really good, it was really, really good. Yeah. And it was 30 quid for the lot, which I think's It was really good. Yeah, there was loads of different packages you can choose yeah. different ones, so yeah. So how do you rate your first um, Turkish bath? My first bath? Turkish bath, it was lovely, yeah. I think I would have another one, yeah. Really? How many jatties out of five for that one? Ooh, I, would, I would give it a five out of five. Good, I there it, you go. Yes. Even I a my massage I even enjoyed it. Some bits I didn't but. I was <laughs> going to say, I was a bit worried you wouldn't enjoy it. Yeah, no, I asked myself. It was good, I should. <laughs> 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 it's not always good having that hard jacket. Yep. <laughs> I took it rough and hard, but Jimmy it was had, nice. Yeah. I had a few knots and stuff to get out, and he, he worked them well. Like So yeah, it was really good. We just had a bit of problem with the car door. I think they prefer to take cash so we didn't bring a card with because obviously everything's pretty much contactless but he ran us back to my apartment we've got like a Revolut card and when I got to the bank it just wouldn't let us take any money but I think Revolut must have sent us a new card because the expiry date on the contactless one's different to the one I've got and we thought so <laughs> but luckily there's a shop at the front which takes um contactless payment so we've been able to pay oh, right. so no, yeah. Yeah, but so yeah. just to note, if you come to this spa, the Peloid spa, probably best to bring cash. I think they take English money as well. Yeah, he did. He said, do you want to pay Lira or yeah, pounds? Yeah, English. And English it's, pounds, yeah, it's got that's... the prices on the kind of like the menu of stuff in, in English, pounds. English pounds. So they probably yeah. prefer English pounds, but you can't pay in Turkish Lira. Right. We well, haven't had anything to eat today, so I think so. we're... Need to go and get some food because yes, we're both. growled through yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> I think the bloke thought you were growling at the massage. <laughs> right, let's go and find somewhere to eat. Used to go to the beach with private boat. Private private boat. boat. Yes. This is one here. One thousand. Yes. Only one hour, two hours, three hours. Okay, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Just getting the price of a boat. If you get a private boat to the is is Tuzu Beach, it was one thousand eight hundred lira. So I'm not sure what that is in English pound, but work it out and I'll put it at the bottom just to give you an idea of how much things are when you're here. So we're just walking along by the river here. And this is where all the boats and stuff are. There's some restaurants, so we're just going to walk along and show you along here. Maybe in a bit, thank you, thank you. There's plenty of choice of little restaurants here along the front and it'll be lovely at night time when it's all dark and apparently you can see the ancient king's tombs from here. So they'll all be lit up at night time, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice little place. Get a nice like vibe off it, it's just, just feels like a nice level here. It's not too crowded, it's not too rowdy. It's just nice, just nice. This is the area we were in last night. 
we basically came down this street, there's like a gin barn. The burger place we went to was just on the left here, and then across the street there's a place called Jazz Bar, which we just, it's literally just down the bottom of the street. And there's a corner and it kind of leads back off down the river. But there was like live music on in the jazz bar and it was full of like Turkish people. And they were all up dancing and having a good time and it was pretty good actually, it was a good atmosphere again. But yeah, we just kind of like centered around this bit because it was only a 10 minute walk from where we're staying. But we're going to have a little walk along this side of the river and we're going to have a look and see if there's any more kind of restaurants and stuff along here and find somewhere to eat. Just down by this river here, it actually reminds us a bit of um, Krabby Town. You know, we've got the river in Krabby Town and then leading out there's a, there's a bit of rock that juts up which you can see from uh, like the dock where the boats dock in Krabby Town and this bit of rock up here actually reminds us of that it's got very big like such big similarities to the two I think but obviously are kind of now pushing the whole Asia here in Turkey but uh, it's lovely down here by the river really nice There you go. If you want an English breakfast by the river, there's a few places there. I don't know what the price is. It's nice down here. Like there's just all these kind of little parks by the river and all these apartments here on the river. It's just really, really nice, nice atmosphere. And everybody seems really friendly. Yeah, yeah, everybody seems. They don't really get any hassle. Like I think that's one thing that does put a lot of people off coming here is a hassle used to get. It's certainly one thing that put you off before, wasn't it? But it's it's been we've had absolutely no bother at all. So just across the river here, you've got the ancient king's tombs, Kaunas, or Kaunos, sorry, Kaunos, Kaunas is in. Lithuania. So this is one of the things that Dalian's famous for and apparently these have been here for I think it's over two and a half thousand years now and it's very very similar very similar to Petra in Jordan. We'll probably pay a visit there in another episode but if you can get boats across the river which is the other side of Dalian and there's some like ancient ruins and all that kind of stuff up there. I think it's an ancient city there's some ruins and there's a viewpoint up there so this is uh, really, really good. Like, I always say the fort is and it looks much further away than it is, but it's pretty close there, eh? yeah. I didn't think we'll be quite as close to the town as it is, but it's, uh, it's pretty stunning, like. It's really, really nice. Kaunos, just overlooking the tombs here behind and got a nice view of the river. Just got some potato chips, as they call them, chips to us. And we've got a nice FS, which we always do. I'm not sure if it's going to be. Uh, doesn't <laughs> particularly like FS, but we're going to have this. So these ones are on Scott Vincent, who bought us a beer on Buy Me a Coffee. It was a little while ago, but we'd already recorded our Vietnam series. So, Scott. These are on you, thank you. Thank you. So, two 
two beers, two soft drinks and a plate of chips was 260 lira. I think that works out about £7. Is it £7? £7.26. £7. It's not bad. You pay that you pay more than that for two beers back in England. Plus you get these views, so it's you kinda complain. It's just over two pounds for an FS big bottle. So it's not too bad. Right? We're gonna keep walking along the river here and see what we're gonna find. So La Bohème is a restaurant that's been highly recommended to us for our wedding anniversary. We haven't made a decision yet where we're going to go, but when we've asked on forums, a lot of people have suggested that place. I think it's a bit more pricey because of where it is. It looks really nice inside to be fair. Yeah, it's got a lovely setting and it just looks really classy inside. So that's La Bohème, which is just past the cafe we were in before. Just followed the road naturally and it looks like we're in kind of the main street now. So this must be the area where all the bars are. So let's have a look around here. So this is the White House. This is another one where a friend of mine's recommended the White House, which is meant to be good. We've got a place upstairs as well, so you can sit on the terrace and like overlook, and apparently you can see the tombs from up there. So this at night time's meant to be lovely, and the food's meant to be really good too. We'll probably eat here during our time here, so we'll do some reviews on some of the food and some of the restaurants, some of the pubs, and we'll just show you around over a couple of episodes what the resort's like and what we think of it, but. There seems to be plenty of choice. This looks like the very bottom of the street. So we'll probably head back up that way because that's kind of back to where we're staying. And we want a little bit of pool time. So we'll head back up the street and we'll show you what the strip's like here and what kind of bars and stuff you've got. walking around it's pretty hot today it's quite windy but it's um which is nice it's it's like really hot plus we've still got oil on we're from the massage so we're probably just frying like eggs so we're getting these nice big beers which were, how much were these 70 70 each in albatross albatross cafe and bar nice yeah, so floor yeah 12 till 6 happy hours yeah 12 till 12 till 6 for the happy hour and you get a big beer like this which is half a litre because most of the beers we've had have been quite warm haven't they? Quite warm. yeah all the ones we've had we haven't had loads like right? but, no, but they've been just in a and actually the bottle that came in our place was cold it wasn't mm -hmm. even the beer wasn't actually cold so we've kind of walked around a little bit today we've, we haven't shown you the Turkish bass but obviously we've been there been by the river and we're just walking up the street on Ellie at the top now. So what do you think of Dalian so far? The, on your I, first impression? First impression, I, I like I mean, it's really like nice. It, yeah. Really nice. It's, it's, um, it's 
quite, quite it's chilled out, chilled isn't it? Chilled and relaxed, actually. Lovely. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's going to be like tonight. Yeah. But, um, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll show you tonight. We'll come back down the street. So we'll show you what it's like down the street at night time. Because it's probably going to be a bit louder. There's going to be more people about. We'll probably review a restaurant. I'm thinking we might go to the White House tonight. Might go to the White House. Yeah, there, yeah. We've had some like, good, good recommendations and reviews of people. But we're going to have these beers and then I think we're going to head back and maybe get a little bit of time around the pool. We would like a bit of time to relax. We'll have these and we'll, we'll head back. Cheers. Cheers. Primark, it's Turkish Primark though. We've also seen a Sports Direct, and not obviously the official stores. We've just been looking at some of the football tops. So that's the Newcastle away one. And just been quoted, it was about 300. I think you can barter down. They look decent quality, the only thing is with the Newcastle badge. The ones at the minute that you get, have got the badge embroidered in, but this one kind of just looks like stuck on. But I know people come and they like to buy the football tops, so there you go. It's an indication of what the price is. Just been to another shop and quoted 300 as well. And he said it's actually cheaper than shoplifting. But <laughs> <laughs> cheaper than Aldi, cheaper than shoplifting. Not what I'm laughing, cheaper than Poundland. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but the people are really friendly actually. Like they just come out and obviously they want you to go into their business, but they're not forceful about it. They're quite friendly. They'll have a chat with you, ask where you're from, ask your name. The, all the people have been lovely so far and you just don't feel like you get hassled at all. It's so laid back, isn't it? It's really chilled out. It's really, really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. So I'm really impressed with the place so far. Like I say, we'll make our final judgment tonight when we we'll go out for some food and we'll see what the nightlife's like. Not that it's going to be bouncing here, which we don't expect. So we're right up the top end of the strip now and there's a few more bars and stuff up here. Few more shops, all pretty much the same kind of stuff, but there's plenty of options. So we just found a little bakery on the way back, which of course Jackie got her eyes on and it smelled really good. So we're getting a couple of treats from there. It was only about a pound each for these. So we're getting like, it's like a little kind of, looks like a tart, but like cookie dough. And we're getting like a chocolate filled bun kind of thing. So we'll see what these are like. Don't like it, do you? What is it? I don't know. It's like short crust, like um, short bread, but like crumbly. Right. Oh, wow. It's good. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's called a tahini, and it's like, yeah, it's like a like a biscuit, and then whatever it's filled with in the middle. But it's oh, really, really like nice, isn't it? So it's, it just it, it all like kind of sticks to your mouth, but it's really good. I'm quite impressed with the Turkish bakery so far. Ooh, it's like Chocolate bun. I think jackie has been looking forward to this one. Oof. There's a lot of chocolate in that. It's like... like a lot of air in there. Mm -hmm. I was expecting like a donut. Ah, so was that. It's nice. It's very yeah, it looks it. It's like... Just like flaky pastry. With chocolate? Yeah, I mean the chocolate's good. I'm a little disappointed that it's not 
like fluffy. Give you a chocolate fix though. Yeah, it's alright. Better get back before the storm hits. ready to go out <laughs> and we're uh, amidst the massive storm here. The power's just gone off. Oh god. The power's just gone off. So everything's just just seen everything just cut off. So uh <laughs> luckily I haven't been in the shower yet so hopefully the time I go in and come out it's gonna be okay. But it's just flashing everywhere yeah. It's been going on for about well it's been threatening for about an hour because we're around the pool and you could hear it in the distance but then it's just come over and it's just flashing all the way over to their mountains and even behind us here it's, uh, it looks quite a big storm we haven't had any rain yet so we've been quite lucky coming down cats and dogs now no sooner had I said it hadn't rained, it's laughing down. So, we might not get out tonight. At least the power's back on so we can get ready. We won't be getting ready to stay in. <laughs> ah, it's absolutely laughing down. Hopefully it'll just pass and we'll be okay, but let's see how it goes. I, I was in the shower. And Jackie was on the balcony here yeah, and there was this almighty bang and crack and I was like what? I was swearing in the shower, I nearly shit myself. It's it's cracking right off, yeah, it's been the mother of all storms. And it's honestly it was like it was right onward. And Jackie thinks it actually hit the pool or hit the building which is right there. It probably did. I think it, it, hit the pool. it was just like the no I've never heard anything like that in my life. It was no, like I was pretty Scared, my heart is only just shock. calming down. It was about 20 minutes ago, wasn't it? Yeah. But my God, what a noise that made! Like, I've seen some storms in my time, but nothing like that. The noise of that was just that was something else. Oh, yeah, it was. It was deafening. Hopefully, we're going to get out at some stage. It looks like it's <laughs> passing. It's like moved across and gone over, but like you, you can see over there in the background, it's just. And Jackie wasn't filming. No, but I was that outside. <laughs> But why weren't you filming? That's the most important thing. So How are you enjoying the Turkish weather? <laughs> I know, I can't believe it. It actually hit a villa, didn't it? Yeah, I it hit the villa. Across the street. Good evening, welcome to White House! So tonight we're going to have the White House. We're going to see what the food's like here. I'll show you the menu and show you what's on up here and what the prices are. Good. 
Jack his first try of balloon bread, even though she couldn't bloody wait. Bloody gannet. How was it, Jay? Come on, get dipped in with a. Well, I've dipped it in there. I don't know what you're How's that dip thing? Mm, it's like a what like, happened to Sprite Hard. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's quite salty. Yeah. What is it? I don't know, but it's <laughs> I just remember from the times I've been here, it's quite salty and it's very, it's alright actually. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Yeah, good. So what about these mushrooms then? Well, the sauce is really nice. I've already dipped them in the sauce. You couldn't bloody wait, could I you? Know, I couldn't, I couldn't wait, no. This is only for one piece. Yeah, it's quite, quite big, yeah. Again. Greedy mouth. Oh, yes, really. Good. Oh bum. Good starter. Okay. It was mushrooms are great. The sauce is lovely. Very flavorsome. Bread was gorgeous. Loved it. And I'm it's not free. clear what that dip is, but it oh spread was. I'll find out. Really nice. It was quite it was salty but like not too like overpowered salty. I think that was like a garlic butter. Yeah. And it was obviously nice and warm. Oh lovely. So for the main, we've ordered a clay pot for two. So we've got a clay pot with beef. It's for two to share. We've already gained two new subscribers in here because the staff have obviously seen us today walking down the street. It's been lovely to be fair, the staff are so nice. Been really attentive, just coming over, topping the wine up, coming over with the plates, the forks, and everybody's quite interested in what we're doing. And again, like you can see what they're doing in the kitchen, it's like open, so you can see them cooking the food. And they're doing a good job because so far that's just the starter, which was pretty basic, really, like in terms of the starter, it's not adventurous or anything, but it, it was, was just tasty. so beautiful. The taste coming out with the garlic mushrooms, the creamy sauce was beautiful. The black dip was actually olive paste, and we don't like olives, but that, that was, I know I don't, but that was beautiful, it was really nice, so I might actually now like olives, for Davey and Louise, because they've always been on it with, <laughs> we might like olives after <laughs> all, <laughs> I make one olive paste next time, paste. <laughs> everything so far in here has been superb, and like I say, we've had a lot of recommendations for this place, yeah, it's quite easy, people like recommending yeah, so again, thanks to everybody on the Dalian forums on Facebook. Be good with this balloon bread. <laughs> so, what's the taste in that? Then <coughs> looks like a casserole kind of thing. It's got peas, yeah, it's like casserole, yeah. Yes, well, like it's, it's casserole kind of thing. So, it's like beef, I'm assuming peas, peppers, onion, aubergine, I think. Like a tomato sauce, like dropping, yeah. It's like melting in the mouth. It's really tasty. Good. And this is for two, but it actually looks. It's like actually bacon. quite a lot there, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks good. Let's give this a try. It's already got Jackie's recommendation, so I think it's already going to be good. 
and it looks and smells superb. Oh yeah, that's really tasty, isn't it? Like having it with the rice, it just mixes so well, doesn't it? Like the, the beef stock, it's like a slow cooker meal, isn't it? You can taste the tomato, you can taste the peppers. It's just like a massive infusion of taste, like really, really nice. And you've even got your garden peas, so I'll get my greens for the day. <laughs> Mm. Beautiful, really good. How's it going, Jackie? Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The peeps just like, ah, oh, it's really, really good. It's really, really good. I've had a plate of it, and I'm, I'm starting to fill up. Like, I've still good. got loads. Just the amount of beef in there, and the beef is just, oh, it's lovely, isn't it? It's just so nice. Really, really good. So I think already this is going to get our recommendation. So we'll finish this off and we'll see what Jatty gives it out of five Jatties. How was that Jacqueline? Beautiful. I have no faults at all. Like my first meal in Dalian really, like proper meal. And it's been flawless, it's been really yeah. good. That was the White House in Dalian, which is right down at the bottom of the strip. And that was kind of faulted, kind of faulted. I think Jackie summed it up pretty well there in the restaurant. Like, there's probably not much more to add to it actually because that was just. <laughs> <laughs> just so much food, so plentiful. Like, the amount of beef in that. It was like a casserole basically, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was yeah, just it like was a casserole. Beautiful. But there was so much food. Oh, it it was, probably could have done like. Amazing. Really yeah. Like, probably so the yeah. I mean, we demolished it. Oh, we did. <laughs> Got, well, we, we left a bit at the end. There was no beef left, to be fair. Yeah, no, no we, we ate, we ate all the meat. Yeah. And the staff was so lovely. We'll try something else if we do go back. I mean, I would eat that again. I would go back because I know I would get a good meal in there. It was really, really good. I highly recommend it. Like, so that's the first restaurant we've been to here, and it's been fantastic. Spot on, like, so attentive. like everything was just broke the table like dead quick and it was just really nice weren't it and, uh, yeah no no everything yeah, was like spot on first every, kind of every, turkish every, food experience for well you yeah well, first night out yeah first night out in dalian spot on yeah well we'll, have, yeah. well, we're going to go and sample the night yeah, we're gonna now do as well you, but before nights. we go up there how many jatties out of five are you going to give our restaurant i would give it i would give it four and a half Converse. Oh, no. I thought yeah. I was going to get a five. No, well, I, I was thinking a five, but because it's the first one we've had, and it was really good. Don't get us wrong, um, but yeah, four and a half. That's, 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 yeah, that's, it is. that's it's a good, good rate. That's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I would, I would probably give it a five. Like, like obviously, I've had Turkish food before, like in yeah. Turkey, of course. But I, that was just like top draw, top yeah, draw. No. So, White House, put it on White your list House. if you come to Dalian. Yeah. Definitely come and give it a try. Right on the corner, quite a, quite a big bar as well. Mm -hmm. It's like this evening. It's next, like Ram next to BB's yeah. Rock Bar. Right, okay, we're going to have a little walk up the street and see what it's like. It's not bouncing, but it just looks like a nice level. Like, you can't hear all the other bars kind of competing against each other. But we're going to go and have a look anyway and see what it's like, and then we'll close off for the day. So let's have a walk up and let's see what it's like up here. an end to the first day in Dalian and our first impressions were really good so we spent the rest of the night just having a look up and down the street we had a few drinks and then we headed home ready for the next day so if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave your comments most importantly don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the next episode in the next episode we'll be taking one of Dalian's many boat trips and away we go. Water is so clear.
Okay, that was the magic lake of thermal bath. I had quite a few beers, quite a few wines. <laughs>